These are cast urethanes, and they come from various companies. This one, I believe, comes from, uh, it should be on the back of one of these, Golden West. Golden West actually made a lot of model railroad products at one time. You can see here I have this one labeled 6D. The reason is because it is six pounds per square foot. Okay? And if you look at it, I did a, a sample for you this morning. Look how porous that is. If I was in G scale, that would make pretty good asphalt. Okay? It also has the characteristic of, and here's an exacto knife, new blade, but nonetheless, look how easily I can slice that off. And I'm going to go to, now this is 10 pound density, a little finer than, I did this on purpose so you can kind of see the difference. Here's 6 pound, here's 10 pound, a little finer. We're going to go to 15 pound, finer yet, okay. We're going to go to 18 pound, and we're going to go to, this one is 22 pound. And look how fine. So depending upon my scale, and this is why I say, you know, people that get to be scale snobs, they, they miss the world because you, you got to look at things with a scale eye, not with what the manufacturer says. When you walk in a hobby shop and you see a part like these air conditioning units, all these air conditioning units I'm using are HO, but they're O scale to me because they're fairly good sized or medium sized units. They may not be huge ones like they are for HO, but they're big enough for O, okay? So the same thing here, I want to look at these materials and I want to determine which one is the right density for the material that I want to model. If it's an asphalt surface, you know, like I say, in, in um, O scale I'd probably go about 15 pounds because it looks like asphalt. If I was doing concrete, well the 22 pound is not bad, it looks like aged old kind of pitted concrete. But what I might go to then is to go to, and we have a whole host of these guys. <laughs> this stuff is called Ren Shape. And I'll give you a better view, hopefully. That's Ren Shape. The Ren Shape now is extremely smooth by comparison to the cast urethane, which is a misnomer because this is urethane too. <laughs> Model makers call this butterboard because this is much, much thicker. I don't know what the poundage is on this stuff, but it's up there. It, it exceeds the 22 pound. Let's get an example here. I'll show you. Look at this compared to this. This is 22 pound, but look how smooth this is. And this rim shape is also machinable. Look at that. I can pull off that curl right there. So all of this stuff is machinable. And the neat thing about that is now I can go to this one, let's say. Let's show you this. That to me looks like asphalt, even an HO. It's gorgeous. If I was going to do a bridge pier in HO or um, O scale, I would probably go with, yeah, it's hard to see, that one's got a label on it. Let's get another one. I'd probably go with something like that. I don't care if it's pink, I can spray it gray, or I can spray it with a concrete color. But look at the texture on it. It has just enough to be a nice new cast concrete color. And yet, I can machine it. I can table saw it. I can, um, didn't give you the right camera. I can table saw it. I can carve it. I can do scribe lines in it. I can do all kinds of stuff with it. It's called Ren Shape. And you can get that from, well, here, let's go back to the close up camera. I'll give you this. This comes from. The Clausy Lumber Company. I get the turn it so you don't get the so much glare. Yeah, that's somewhat better. The Clausy Lumber Company. They're in Michigan. Roseville, I believe it is. And you can probably look them up on the internet, I think. Yeah, I'll give you the phone number. Um, 1 800 365 9663. I believe they're still in business. My samples are probably 10 years old or better, but I think they're still around. But these are fantastic. Now, the drawback to these rim shapes and to these cast urethanes is they aren't cheap. Sorry. Um, but you get what you pay for. They're so machinable and so usable in various textures that I just felt like I had to show them to you because they're, they're pretty fantastic. Like that. 
you buy that board and you buy it uh, usually in, you specify the thickness you want and it will come a foot or two feet wide and however long. Um, and again, it's not cheap because the shipping obviously is going to be fairly expensive because the stuff is so heavy.